There are seven behind the gate. And here's a look at the odds. Keystone Sheik has been scratched. No sex, please. Leaving for post six. Two to five favorite. Delray Lobel, seven to two. Here's track and announcer, one of the Turkin. finest in North America, Tom Turkin. Field in behind the gate, and no sex, please. Is favored here. The odds board reads two to five as the tempo quickens as we near the start of the race. And they're off. And down on the inside. Now going for the lead. There goes friendly faces on quickly now to take command early on the far outside. No sex, please. Looking for the early lead. No sex, please. On the outside now up to take a short lead. Friendly faces battling it out with them early. And the battle is joined as they approach the quarter mile mark. Just in behind them, Lode Startle Bell is down third by three. Bull Herbert is racing in fourth position by the back. It's Del Rey, Low Bell, and Slyball Hanover. First quarter, 27 and two fifth seconds. And it was a tough opening quarter for the favorite here. No sex, please. Who leads us now? Fastest stands the first time, showing the way. Friendly face right there, racing second. Lode Startle Bell is eager, and we think they will try to settle him down. Bull Herbert is now racing. Racing in fourth position, John Campbell is unhurried with Del Rey Lobel, who has one horse beaten, and that is Slyball Hanover. Around the turn, and they hit the half in a grueling 56 and three-fifths seconds. No sex, please. Still holding the lead. Friendly face is second, and Bold Herbert now is first out. There goes Bold Herbert, moving up on the outside, now to be third. For the inside, it's Lodestar Lobel now back racing in fourth position. Campbell has a firm hold of Del Rey Lobel, who comes off and moves up with cover on the outside. And Slyball Hanover trails the field around the far turn. No sex, please. Pushed to three quarters in 126 and three. Hold Herbert coming after him now as they move toward the top of the stretch. Then just in behind, it's friendly face right there. Del Rey Lobel comes off cover with a three wide sweep, and they still have to catch no sex please ron whipples puts him to an all-out drive and no sex please is race funding he's holding on by two and goes on to a sharp victory here in the finish town. and the time 155 flat sensational a new breeders crown record and he destroyed it 155 flat a brilliant race here for no sex please and driver ron whipples so here, the winner with a long shot, Delphi's Lovell here, a two to five favorite. He was tremendous, Ronnie, right from the get-go. Yeah, he's been tremendous all his life, this horse. Just unbelievable. Now, in the race itself, you were on the outside and really uh, had to get away a little bit just to determine, uh, just to keep, take control. Yeah, I didn't want to use him that much leaving the first quarter. They went to quarter in 27 seconds, but uh, there's lots of times things don't go the way you want, so you just have to do the best you can. And then a breather in the middle of the race. Uh, there were some challenges, but uh, you were sitting pretty uh, pretty good at top. Yeah, the horse, he's much smarter than I am. He, uh, When he got to the front, he knew he'd kind of spun a little bit the first quarter, and he relaxed real good the middle half, and he just did what I wanted to. Among them, Del, Del Rey Lobel coming at the end. He won the uh, Breeders' Crown last year with a similar trip in behind Mac Lobel, and I'm sure you were hoping for no repeat of that for Del Rey. Yeah, that's for sure. I was kind of glad and I got the third quarter in where I did, and I was hoping I had enough to keep them off coming for home. Ronnie Waples, thank you. The horse owned and trained by Ron Waples, Jr. Back to you, Bruce. So the son of Briscoe Hanover, no sex please, returns 280, 220, and 210. Delroy Lobel, who won this race a year ago, was second 260 and 210. And Bold Herbert paid $2.10.